Okay, guys. Um, uh, till now, all I've had is videos of the turbine spinning, which is only exciting for so long. So I pulled it down last night. Wanted to been up there for about a month. Wanted to check it out a little bit and uh, make sure everything was holding together good and check the bearings and whatnot. So I thought, well, we'll uh, shoot some close-ups of it so you can check it out. But uh, got the uh, Hornet blades on it. Six of them. Gonna do nine. Get a little better start up because I don't have a ton of wind around here. But when it gusts, boy, it, it moves. Uh, put a bigger hub on it last night. Went from the 8th inch to the 3 16th steel hub. A little stronger. Uh, what else? Um, got a, uh, put a uh, hub stabilizer back there. Can't really see it, but it uh, makes it a little stronger. Takes a little bit of the wobble out. Um, there's this thing I made myself. Um, this here is a, a two inch pipe, uh, put it on the uh, lathe and turned it, put some, uh, sunk some bearings down in there with a one inch hole on the inside, uh, bearing on the bottom, so you can't really see it, but it pivots beautifully, very, very smooth. I was determined to go with the ball bearings for some reason, I don't know, I just was, but, uh, Used all stainless steel parts, stainless steel washers, stainless steel nuts and bolts, uh, stainless steel lock collars, uh, uh, an aluminum tail, is, uh, held on stainless steel. Um, it's a, uh, sorry, aluminum tail shaft, and an aluminum tail. Uh, it's a stop sign I butchered and uh, painted it. Uh, running uh, wired up for three phase AC, uh, loops up uh, just. Use some wire nuts, tie it into the main wire, which runs down into the pole. And uh, the uh, generator is a 1,000 watt PMA from Missouri Wind and Solar. Um, it is a beefy son of a gun. A little bit to make it turn, but it, it's very impressive. It puts out a lot of power. Um, I've seen the excess of, I don't know, 120, 130 volts out of it so far. I don't have a meter to check amperage, but... Just watching the voltage spike when we get gusts, it's it's pretty impressive. It's uh, guys, if you're if you're playing with the Amtex and the small motors, you really might invest the money to get something like this. Um, it's 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 good for uh, you make some power out of it. I'll say that I'm I'm very impressed with it. But uh, there she is. Uh, pardon the mess in the garage last night was filled with uh, beer drinking, uh, rock and roll music, and lots of creativity as I played around with a few other ideas and a little bit of a welding and such. Um, the way this thing uh, is going to fit on the shaft, this, this here, goes on top of my two inch uh, pipe, screws in. I put a one inch and screwed it in there to give me a little more stability. Take the wobble out, got a lot collar welded on there, pardon the weld, and I'm um, put that on there today. And then uh, this just is on a one inch pipe here that it pivots on and it'll just slide right in there, lock her down, that screws on top of the pipe, and we're set. So, uh, but anyway, I just wanted to give you an uh, update of where we're at. Uh, hopefully next update will be at 30 feet, and she'll really fly. So, thanks for watching.